Welcome back to Control, everyone. We gotta fix these power converters. Energy converters, I should say. Um, man, that's trippy. <laughs> Let's go up here. It's fried up. You need to fix it before the old trick lands inside the plant has a shit fit. Oh boy. Uh, I'm not excited about this. It's gonna be a bunch to clear. But let's do it. Get him. Nice. Who's next? Someone's next. Ooh. There's someone up there for sure. Don't know that I have that range. Certainly not as a targeting option. I have the range actually. I just want to lock on him. Which might be enough to say I can't do it. Oh. Well, I could play a little more aggressively, I guess. Ooh. Do the energy converter, everyone. Chair here. Nice. Good defense. Investigate the training course? Hold on. Hold on. Jesse learns of another object of power, a safe in the field training obstacle course. All right, I'm sure there's gonna be an explanation in here. The safe object of power can produce a barrier using objects or material from its immediate vicinity. See OOP22 case file for more details. Bureau rangers were given permission to employ heavy weaponry against a para-utilitarian bound to this object in order to gauge the barrier's durability, and velocity ammunition were tested with blank results. Got it. So there's like a thing, and we can go check it out. That's my slightly oversimplified summary there. But we're focused on this. Felt kind of guilty after doing that. I still do not know how to think about those things. Take them all out, don't take them out. Oh dear. Oh dear. Cowboy. RPG cowboy. What are you doing? Don't you know who you're dealing with? Here he comes. Alright. Not too bad. Pop this puppy open. impulse material sure all right so we're gonna need to do like this thing oh, excuse me and then does that cause a problem for us not yet sure it will though Heard someone running at me. Gave me a bit of a panic. 
Not gonna lie. die here. Alright, let's get some health again. Their chanting is just so creepy. Like, it's really screwed up. In fact, that may be how I decide. It's like... Wish I could be nicer, but I can't handle the sound. That could be the decision. <laughs> okay. That new is an opening. Shatter projectile choke. Interesting. Uh, now we already had access to this. Hold on. Where are we going that's new? It's got to be up. That's the way up. He's stronger. He's a regular guard. Not too bad, actually. Just a little bit over our normal threshold there. You gotta be careful, though, not to take damage. It really knocks down fast. Cool. Alright, this is gonna be a problem, I know. Let's go lift the lockdown. Am I not about to get ambushed? Alright. Something in there would be nice to pick up, but it's good. Elevator, control room, power plant. Electricity level, water level. There's a whole set of things back there. There's the elevator there. Upcoming game reminder. It's not going to be official. Next game is Wednesday at 8. Usual spot. Hazard owes me 20. Arish still on a fucking winning streak. Someone please figure out how he's cheating. Thompson suspended for a game because of that shady dealing incident. Guy, I owe you 60. I bought beers last time, so it's Heppenstall's turn. Well, good to write all that down. Okay, guess we've got water and electricity. Which we did already. We're in the control room. Yeah, there's definitely something in here. Yep, I can see them. Uh, man, it's so freaky how that starts. Oh my god. Oh god. 
Stay back, dudes. There was a lot of them. Where'd they go? I feel like there were a ton and they all backed out. Don't not like that. Did they re... Yeah, they did. When we pulled back, they... Oh boy. Stay back. Gotcha. Don't think I don't see you flanking me, buddy. Got you. Alright, that was a little intense. We'll heal up though, which is good. There's a control point, which is great. We can clear it. Huge. All right, let's do it. This is what we came here to do. Oh, internal lockdown. Hold on. So much is expected from the director. The responsibility, the privilege to steer the bureau into dangerous waters and safely out again. To inspire and lead its people, to protect them. The board is there to advise you, but they want things in return. You hold all this in your old, trembling hands. I had to lose everything before I could see the Bureau is the Director's life. There's no room for anything else. If the forces contained here escaped, we'd be dragged back into an age of superstition, terror, death. Assuming you think we ever really left that behind. Any emergency, any major containment breach. And the lockdown goes into effect. I implemented this security measure in my first years as director. I knew we were vulnerable. I'd personally seen the cost of sloppiness. I made sure the internal lockdown could only be lifted by a directorial override, only to be used when the director is confident the sectors are safe to be opened again. This way, the director is the last line of defense. And if I screw up, it's on me and me alone. Cool, I do think those Little bits of flavor are so, so cool, but I kind of wish the videos um, weren't kind of the same 30 second loop over and over again. I mean, just the audio is cool. I don't have to have the videos, you know? All right, is this gonna help or make things worse? huge building. Alright, let's go talk to Emily. That's it. The other sector should be open now. I think it's time I told Emily why I'm here. Cool. I'll risk it. You two oh. should get to know each other. You two should get to know each other? Alright, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Uh, not the control room, but central executive. Cool. Being able to warp around will be really helpful now that there's all these different sectors and stuff. Just because even just like taking elevators and stuff would get kind of tedious. The 
They're saying Trench was shot down. The situation's getting worse. I saw Trench and Darling arguing a couple weeks ago. Trench was furious. You don't think Darling... Don't be stupid. What would the Bureau's golden child have to gain from killing the boss? Interesting. Gossip, gossip. Jesse, you made it. And you lifted the internal lockdown. We did. Let's talk, Emily. Yes, of course. Listen, Emily. <sighs> Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother, Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways were gone. After that, your people came. Tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left him behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. He covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. <laughs> she goes right for the slide projector. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her Polaris. As in, a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the Hiss? If she got you in here in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes, but one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years that ago. That checks out. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. So... Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my key card. The sector elevator will take you there. Level three. Putting up a lot of doors quickly. Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past. I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, I will come calling. Cool. 
It's a little ominous, to be honest. I see we got a maintenance thing. We need to find Marshall. Don't know if there's gonna be any more questions available. Hi, Jesse. Uh Darling's whereabouts for sure. I keep finding traces of Darling, but still can't find him. Where could he be? But he's usually in his office in research or one of his labs. Dr. Darling has quite a few all around the bureau. Could be hiding in any one of them. I check myself, but I don't have access to most of them. Sounds like I touched a nerve. He didn't let you into his labs? Not all of them, no. Some had volatile material. It's ridiculous. I mean, this whole place is volatile material. Could have at least thought up a more convincing lie. I mean, how can I work without access to all the data possible? Okay. How about building shifts? We'll go through all these, I guess. This place has a bad habit of moving around, huh? So you notice the building shifts. Did you know that 39% of bureau accidents are caused by the shifts? It's true. I ran the numbers myself. So they're dangerous. Oh, very. Yet one time, a shark got shifted into the <laughs> meeting room along with over 2,000 gallons of water. It was a tiger shark. Darling's pet research project. I forget what he was researching. How do people work here? You said you're an assistant? Oh, it's just a title. I'm a scientist, a researcher. I work for Dr. Darling. See, when bureau agents go out in the field, the sites of altered world events, we study the materials, the altered items they bring back. It's always something we've never seen before. And studying them requires new instruments, methodologies, sometimes entirely new fields of science. Emily really loves her job. See, there's no guidebook for what we do here. Everything that happens at the bureau, including the science, is without precedent. Sure. How about the motel? What exactly is the Ocean View Motel? That's a bigger question than you might think. You see, I have extreme doubts that the motel is a single place. I mean, look at all the doors inside it. Where do they all go? We know that one door leads to the oldest house, but how come we can only ever open that one door? Maybe to open a door, you have to have entered through it. So if every door leads to a different dimension, plane, reality, whatever you want to call it, then I believe that the motel is firm proof that parallel universes exist. Does Darling agree with that? I haven't told him yet. I'm waiting until I can prove it. Okay, and then control points. What can you tell me about control points? They're nexus points of the oldest house's unique energies. Well, I wrote a 30-page proposal hypothesizing that we could siphon energy directly from them. Darling didn't even get through the first page before he turned it down. Right. And, uh, has anyone ever used them to teleport around? What? Uh, no. <laughs> what? I mean, you mean physically? No, not that I've ever heard of. Why? You haven't noticed that I've been doing because it? Because that's how they work for me. What? Really? Oh my god. More tests. Let's hold off on the tests until later, okay? Okay. It's just... Wow. I, this blows my control point theories right out of the water. I love it. Okay. Alright. See you soon. Be careful out there. So we got a bunch to do. Uh, and a whole new sector. So let's go ahead and take a break here. We come back. Keep exploring.